Hi guys, I welcome you once again. It's your guy again, Jerry Graffy. Welcome back to my channel. On this tutorial, I want to show us how we can make a professional BD flyer using our smartphone and using Big Zella app. On, tutorial, on this tutorial video, we are going to make use of uh, Z and Max. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notification video on so that each time we drop a new video, you will be the first person to notify and also give the video a like. Without wasting much of our time, let's determine the image size that we are going to use. The image size that we are going to use is uh, the weight is 1080 where the height is 1202. That is the image size that I want to use. Now let's bring our first resource. All these resources, I will drop it in the video description. You can download it from there and make use of it. Now, after inputting the zip, go to your relative size, make the high 100, the weight 100, then position it like this. Having done that, lock the zip. Now, let's bring out the shape. Then, expand it, cover the zip like this. Now, we're going to make use of mats. Open your mats. Then, reduce the size sorry let me come back so that you see what i'm doing up your max like this then come here i hope you are seeing what i'm doing click here like this then reduce the size like this haven't done that mark it then click here i hope you are following click here then move it like this track the zip we are going to uh mask the zip then click here again then click on this arrow here then drag it like this do something like this cool haven't done that click here let's make something like this i hope you are following cool now let's drag this one now Now, the next thing that we are going to do is uh, to make use of this second one, drag it like this. I hope you are following. You need to be careful here so that you will put it on the line of the zip very well. Cool. Haven't done that. Let's do this one like this. Little bit. Cool. Alright, I have done that. Mark it. Now that we will be able to achieve this, let's take it to back. Do it like this. Cool. 
Now, the next thing that we are going to do now is to give this zip a color. Now, for us to give this zip a color, we cannot give it a color direct like this. So, we are going to make use of uh, filter. Then, click on the zip, lock this shape, click on the zip. Then, go to your color filter. Then, make it 82. Uh, make sure you eat on minus. Okay. Yeah, make this one too. It's a choice. You can give it like this. Having done that, the next thing that we want to do now is to bring out our um, image, which is this. Then take this to back. Then go to relative size. Make it hundred. Make the high hundred. And make the with 100 as well sorry let's make it um, let's keep it at 50 no it is something let's leave it like this Position it like this. Cool. Then lock it. Lock the image. Now, as you can see, there is a little space in between this shape and then the zip. Now we are going to give this zip a stroke. Go to your stroke. Then, sorry, the shape. Click on the shape. Go to your stroke. And then click on the plus sign. We are going to pick the color of uh, this shape. Mark it. Then make it uh, to be 5. Make the stroke to be 5. Then click OK. Have we done that? The next thing that we are going to do now is to bring out. Is to bring out our topography. Let's start. Happy. Then increase the size. Change the color to black. Now let's go to font. Let's make this text should be on small letter. Alright, let's make use of this. Then increase the size. Like it like this. Now the next thing that we're going to do is to tap bad green. Bad green. Make the color black. 
then let's give it a form. Let's make use of this. And then position it like this. Increase the size of our as well. Now the next thing that I want to do is to bring out the tab bed image. I have copied it already. I will just press it like this. Then I will give it a color. Then reduce the size. Now let's give it a form. Cool. I think I'm cool with this. Cool. Now let's position the bat bin as well. How about that? The next thing that we're going to do is to bring out the sheep. Turn the radio to 100. Then give it a color the color of the stroke let's lock this first so that it will not destroy us reduce the size like this then take it off position it here like this then duplicate it Then change the color to white. Alright, having done that, let's bring out the date. Uh, let's say 20 August. Then change the color to black. Now let's give it the same font that we give to the, the bad day. Then put it inside the cycle, reduce the size. Do something like this. Having done that, the next thing that I want to do now is to bring out my logo. Sorry. It's to bring out my logo. That's the logo that I want to do. How about all that? Let's bring out the cycle. Let's just duplicate this. Duplicate this cycle again. Then take it to the back of this uh, logo. 
it depends on the color of the logo that you are using i am doing the uh, based on the color of the logo that i'm using it's not uh, the same thing with the color that i'm using here that is why i'm bringing that shape so that it will be more fitable now let's reduce the size a little bit so that it will fit with the logo that i'm using as well cool having done that let's um type the name which is geographic geographic then make the color to black then give it the same form that we give to bad day then bring it down to this under the logo then reduce the size Cool. Having done that, go to your gallery and then bring out um, code icon. Sorry. Let's crop this a little bit. then the next thing that i want to do now is to give it a color go to your color and then go to gradient now we are going to make use of two color here the first one is uh, That is the color that we are going to use. Having done that, let's lock it. So this is how to uh, make a professional birthday flyer. This is actually how I achieve this. All right so note if you are making it for somebody you need to change the details thank you for watching and god bless you please don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and give the video a like now if you want to save you can click here save as it is keep it at png and then ultra then save to your gallery thank you once again